According to the International Labour Organization, up to 100,000 people work in the informal e-waste recycling sector in Nigeria, collecting and dismantling electronics by hand to reclaim the functional components. These end-of-life electrical and electronic products are known to contain about 1,000 hazardous chemicals or substances, if you like, such as dioxins and furans, which are said to be carcinogens. But they also carry in them precious metals like copper and gold, which are currently being extracted by the handlers in a crude manner. There are a lot of uh, heavy metals, a lot of uh, brominated flame retardants. So those uh, things, whenever they go into the body, they call a lot of, cause a lot of hazards, ranging from organs failure, cancers, and other things. One million tons of mobile phone will give you 29 kilograms of gold, and that will give you more money than oil, crude oil. And then this circuit board also contains lead. Lead can cause hypertension. Lead can cause, uh, I mean, mental deformation, as well for children. Moses Onigbide is an electronic technician, a job he has done for over 40 years. But he is still unaware of the inherent danger in handling these appliances without a protective cover. To me, I don't believe that there's any uh, chemical that can affect somebody in television or in video or DVD. That's why you see now. I don't use any, anything to prevent myself. I don't prevent myself. The circular economy approaches for the electronic sector in Nigeria project aims at changing the narrative, developing recycling and disposal systems for electronic products, and also support the implementation of extended producer responsibility legislation. Yes, we want to stop end of life ele e ele use electronic and electrical waste from coming in. But even the ones that have come in, you see people breaking, dismantling them to get the uh, precious metals like copper and diamond inside. So we want to educate people to let them know that, yes, you can get this thing without end endangering your life. We applied together this project with Nigeria, hoping to, uh, let's say, support uh, the, uh, the government to implement uh, the legislation on extended producer responsibility on the electronic sector to support the industry uh, to reduce the impact of the electronics uh, in terms of chemical and waste. The two-year project is being handled by the Nigerian government and the UN environment with the backing from the Global Environment Facility. Nkoli Omoudu, AIT News, Lagos.